Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about third down percentage. Normally, well not normally, in the past, the Ravens have not been good on third downs. Monday night versus the Saints, we were excellent versus third downs. And what I want to do is just take a little time to look at the third downs that we converted and the ones we didn't convert and why we didn't convert. And just see if there's a trend or a pattern or anything that goes with our third down conversions. So let's get into it. Roll the intro. So let's take a look at this first play. Third and short, and this is one of the roles that I don't mind seeing Ricard in. Hand him the ball right here in this situation, let him get you a good yard. Like, you know, I talk I talk smack about Ricard being in on a lot of plays, but a carved out goal line, short yardage, power run role for Ricard, I love. I love I love him in that role. I just don't love him running routes all the time. I understand having him out there to run routes some because we know if he's in the game, a lot of times it's run. So I understand giving that that threat or that that mental check or that it's a run and they throw it to him or throw or throw it while he's out there. But this role right here for him, I love. I love. Hand it to him and you realize that you're giving the D lineman a ball trying to get a yard or an inch or two yards. So And I'm, and I'm cool with that every time. Let's go to the next play. So I don't really know what this route combination is. You're going to have a, 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 a deep curl by likely. You're going to have like a little sit-down route by, um, I think, Pro Shaden. Then you're going to have Duvernay going to try to take the top of it off. We're going to talk about DeMarcus in a minute, but let's focus up top. Again, I don't know. But, again, it's well, it's well short. Pro Shaden is well short of the first down. The first down line is right here. But, again. Prochet catches the ball. Prochet gets the act. That's what he does. And he gets the first down on this play. But what I want to do is go back. Let's go back and I don't know what happened to Demarcus Robinson down here at the bottom. But watch. He gets. <laughs> That's crazy. And he got he got man down there. And he got abused. Let's look at the pocket though. See what kind of pass pro we get. Powers loses initially. But look at Lamar's step. Stay in the pocket. Don't get flustered. Deliver the ball to Prochet. That's a great job of playing QB right there. With, with pressure in your face, deliver the ball. You can't beat that. Another third down. Third and short. You already know what's coming. <laughs> you already know what's coming. Some kind of QB run, whether it be inside zone read, whether it be power read, whether it be um, counter bash, some variation of a QB run. That's your read guy. That's 92. Watch the more eyes go straight to him. Everybody else running the inside zone right. See the more eyes on him right now. Again, his shoulders are square, so technically that's a give because his shoulders are square. But we got Superman back there. So everything that looks good ain't good. Let him play at the last minute. What are he reaching at? Who and what is he reaching at? Because Lamar got the ball. Now you got the arc route with Ricard out there. Good play design. What it is, is really good ball um, ball handling by Lamar. Let's go to the back, the back end again. Because technically that's a poor read. But that's really good ball handling by Lamar. I mean, that's a give read. I'm sorry. That's a give read. But watch how you fake him out. Stick it in there, leave it, and he think he got the ball. That's the that's because of the ride. And if you don't know what ride is, that that's the quarterback putting the ball in at, as far back as he can reach, and riding it all the way through the mesh point with the um, running back. And if and that's when you make those your decision. If the defensive end try to crash down on that while you riding, you pull it out, and you go about your business. If the defensive end stays wide, you just take your hands off the ball, and the running back go with it. And you got to practice that mesh because the slightest pull on it, the running back got to – he just can't clamp, clamp, down, clamp, clamp down on it. So, this is good. that's good um, ball handling by Lamar. 
All right. They disrespect us a lot. Third down and playing a lot of man because they don't think our guys can get open. Uh, and you see the spotlight, spot shadow one. That's the spy. Uh, Honey Badger is a spy on Lamar. But they play a lot of man. And what we do is we outflank them. So let me let me go back a little bit. You see the the purple circle? That uh linebacker that's standing up there on the line of scrimmage has the running back. And we outflank them when we put him in motion. That screwed the whole play up, putting that guy in motion from the pistol. Because they probably thought it was gonna be some kind of stretch or some kind of play pass from there. But putting him in motion away from where he is, we outflanked him. That screwed him right there. Cause now he got to come out of there. Nobody else, nobody else is over there. All we need is a good throw, and we got a good throw. So now look at all the space he got. And he got to get to this and y'all line right here. With a lot of space, got a good throw, got a full head of steam. And we got it. And a lot of field to work with, too. Did it to the wide side of the field, which is another good thing. To the wide side of the field. That, this, is, uh, this is who got the running back right here. When we put him in motion, that screws the whole play up for them. Now he just can't get there. We got to deliver a good ball. He got a good ball, get up the field, first down to Drake. Kenyon, that is, not the rapper. This, and I only think I meant to put this on here, but this is a third down, and we didn't convert this one. I don't know what y'all feel about this or how y'all feel about this, but it's a hell of a throw. Despite everything that went down, this ball hits Deshaun Jackson in the hands. Now, the defense make a play on it, but this is a hell of a throw. Cam, uh, Moses knocks it out after Cam get him. He picks it up, looks down the field. I'm going to pause it. That's a hell of a throw. After all that that went on. Patience, poise, and, you know, Taylor just made a good play. I think that's Taylor. Yeah, he just made a good play. But that's a hell of a throw. Again, this one of the ones we didn't convert, though. Let's go to another one. All right, playing man again. But the thing is, look how far away Honey Badger is from the tight end. The Honey Badger had, that's in the middle of the field right here, he has your tight end. Watch this. And he's going to come across late and just be confused. A good job of staying in the pocket, seeing the shallow crosser, and hitting it. That deep safety got the running back. It's basically, those three routes at the top going to clear that shallow cross out. That deep safety can't get to the running back coming across. Look at that, look at that open spot. Look at all that open room he got to turn up. Because we cleared it out. Cleared it out with those three verticals. We caught him in man. Cleared it out with the three verticals. And that's what you got to do when teams play you in man. You got to have crossing routes, stuff like this, little picks or something to get you open. Because we're not just winning straight up on routes, though. But I will say, if you have not seen Deshaun Jackson's first catch, go look at it. That route was a thing of beauty. It had a lot of nuance in it. And it's, it wasn't just a regular route drawn up like you know like you draw the lines on the paper. He had an out cut in it that he broke off. And he came back inside like a post. And he set that thing down in the curl. A thing of beauty. Yeah, you already know, third and short. It was third and two. Get some kind of run variation. This one was a little different, though, because I hadn't seen this before. And I'm going to draw it up for you. I, this was new to me. You're going to get technically a pin and pull, but just kind of over here. The pin and pull technically is going to kind of come from over here. So you're going to get Moses to pull out. You're going to get likely going to pull out and basically kick out the end. Moses is going to come through and get a DB, and then you're going to have Lamar just make a guy miss, and he off and running. See, this was new to me. See, there's your, your pins. Those are your two pins. And you got a pull here and a pull there. Now, this is a shitty job by both of these dudes. They basically, These are basically down blocks. And the technique they're in right now is horrible for, by both of them because these two guys have shot the gap. And he has a – Cam Jordan has a free play on Lamar. Luckily, he made a miss. But this is shitty by these two. Good by these two. Now, Moses got a one-on-one -on -one with the DB. The DB going to make a business decision. Watch. Watch Moses. Watch, look, look at Moses. Look at him and watch him talk to him. 
You know, <laughs> the, the DB made a business decision. I don't blame him one bit. I wouldn't let your big guy hit me either. Again, first down. You know some variation of QB run is coming on third and short, especially later on in the game. Got another one. Now, Mr. Likely, this is Flood. This is a variation of Flood. Uh, this is a drop. And we talk about Lamar. He missed some throws this game. But he also had some throws that were on spot on and the receivers let him down, whether it be tight end or receivers. This is one of those plays. From the far hash, watch this throw to the he gonna this sail route on flood. This route right here. This this, this to likely. Heck of a throw. Get the whip by Proche to clear it out. The room. Bam. You couldn't put it in a better spot. You couldn't put the ball in a better spot. But again, let's look at the back view. Let's let's see through, see what all Lamar goes through in the backfield to, to get this throw off. Let's look at his mechanics. Everything's good. Guy in his face delivers a dot. You got to catch that likely. And I know you're diving for it, but you got to catch that. Your quarterback go through all that to make that good of a throw from the far hash. You got to catch that ball. You got to. And we're looking at a third and short, I think. Hell yeah, another variation of a QB run. And at this point, we got to find something other than QB runs on third down. And I know they, I know they're still working, but in the playoffs, some of them things ain't gonna ain't gonna fit like that. But again, watch the Lamar Magic. Watch the Lamar Magic. At this point, you're probably thinking we got to tackle for loss with them two guys right there. Nope, not with eight back there. Missed tackle, missed tackle, missed tackle, almost missed tackle. Oh, there was a missed tackle. Four missed tackles. Four missed tackles. Let's just watch it from right, from here. Again, they they think they got, I, th I thought they had him boxed in. He jukes Honey Badger, runs away from Cam Jordan. Watch this stick his left foot in the ground. Ah. Miss, 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 miss. Finally gets tackled by a D-line. But again, I still think he run too much. <laughs> all right, that's what we got here. This is this all right, this is that series when Lamar got frustrated with the, the penalties by not getting the ball snapped that time. Then this play he had to kind of put people in motion and put them in the right spot and likely dropped another one. If he catches this ball, I ain't gonna say you get a first because the first down marker is way down here. But he at least has an attempt to make, because this guy going to have to run through traffic to get to him. So he at least has a, the opportunity to get through there. And if you make this guy miss, he may even freaking score because uh, Duvernay and Proche do a good job of blocking out there on the edge. But he dropped it, almost turned into a during interception. That's two drops for likely. He got to have those. Got to have them. I think this is later on in the game. I think it's two. We got two more plays, I think, that I got on here. This is outside zone left. And everybody does a great job on outside zone. I'm going to show you his track first. This is Kenyon Drake's, Drake's track. That's the track he, that's what he's going pre-snap. But you got one dude that's going to mess this up for everybody. And that's Nick Boyle. Because everybody else is good but Nick Boyle. So just watch. Nick allows that guy to set the edge. Everybody else is in a great spot. Let me back it up a little bit. Everybody else is in a great spot. Ronnie got his own steps, and he's going to work up to the second level. Ben Powers is going to actually turn his guy. So if Nick Boyer just even gets a stalemate, if he gets a stalemate, Drake is stay on that track and hit it right there. And when he get right there, this cat ain't going to be there because I guarantee damn to you, Linda Bum going to get it. So this cat right here just messes up the whole play, allowing penetration, allowing him to set the edge. See, now Drake has to adjust his track, but... Did a good job. Drake's been playing good lately. He's going to improvise. Let's watch. Watch the cutback. Mm. Cut right back off for of Zyla. And falls forward. Falls forward for the first down. But again, one person almost missed the whole thing up. And that's that's uh, Boy. And all he's out there for to do is just block. And I think this is the last one. And we're going to have another tight end bus. This time is Oliver. 
Now we were fortunate enough to get the last one, but this one we could have we could have salted the game away with this one, and Oliver just screws the pooch. Come down hard on him. All you gotta do is just come down hard on him fast. You're already standing up. He has to get out of his stance, and you just completely whiffs. Completely whiffs. But again, these are the third down situations. And this is not all of them. This is most of them. We had a great percentage for this game. A lot better than we normally do. And um, I was really pleased with how well we executed on third down. Um, so, you know, I ain't, I ain't complaining. I'm just giving you the good and the bad. And um, I appreciate everybody for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, please like the video. Uh, comment if you have comments about our third down package or any of the plays that you've seen. And uh, share it. Share it in your group chat. So wherever you formulate with the flock at. And um, I see y'all soon, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Enjoyed myself in New Orleans um, Monday night. And I got a few more things scheduled. But, uh, you know, I'll get them out to you soon, man. Peace, peace, peace.